So with Intel's KB Lake on the market, and AMD's Ryzen CPUs soon to follow, many of you will be rushing to upgrade your CPUs. And for those that do, you'll be faced with a very tough question. What do I do with my old one? Now you can sell it, but where's the fun in that? I have a better idea. Let's build ourselves a mini ITX rig. Now the CPU I have for this rig is the Intel Core i5-4690K. It's a Haswell chip from two years ago and is completely unlocked. We'll be teaming this up with a Gigabyte Z97N Gaming 5 motherboard and 16 gigabytes of Kingston HyperX RAM. We're gonna slap this all into a Fantex Evolve ITX case. This case has a lot of enthusiast features and would look just as good on a desk as it would in the living room. So let's get on with it. We're going to begin with a few case modifications. We'll be ditching the stock 200mm fan for three 140mm white LED fans from Fantex. For those trying to keep their rigs on the cheap, just adding one fan to the back of the case would be fine. Since our motherboard only has two fan headers, one for the CPU fan and one for the chassis fan, I'll be using a fan hub to connect all of our fans to the motherboard. This fan hub is also from Fantex, but using fan splitters would also do the job. Next we'll move on to prepping the motherboard. We'll place the RAM in, click, click. The CPU cooler I'm going with here is a Corsair H100i. For our motherboard, we're going to have to install the backplate and mounting posts before we put the motherboard into the case. Being particularly spacious, the Fantex Evolve ITX case has plenty of clearance for our mini ITX motherboard, making installation a breeze. Now how about them front panel connectors? We'll be going with a classic storage solution for this rig, a small SSD paired with a larger hard drive. We have a 240GB SSD from PNY and a 2TB Seagate Barracuda. With the majority of the parts inside of the rig, we can start wiring up the power supply. Here we have a 750W power supply from Corsair. Now I know this power supply is totally overkill, but hey, PCMR right? With that being said, a 500W power supply would be totally fine for this rig. We're going to need a cable for the storage drives and the GPU. Speaking of GPU, now's a good time to put it in the system. Lastly, we'll install the Corsair H100i. This case has a radiator mounting bracket that makes installation a breeze. It's good to remember when screwing down a water block or a CPU heatsink to turn the screws in a star pattern, starting from the top left, bottom right, so on and so forth, so that you get an even pressure while mounting. There we have it folks, ain't she a beaut? And now for some gratuitous b-roll. Yeah. 
sweet, soft, silky, and smooth. Well, that about wraps it up, folks. Thanks again. This is Andrew with East Coast Tech. If you like what you've seen here, please get subscribed, like this video if you want to see more like it, and thanks for tuning in.